Hello, welcome to LifeRay. My name is Fedi Hakim. I'm Senior Sales Engineer with LifeRay. And today, I'm going to take you through a series of video to introduce LifeRay Digital Experience Platform. As some of you already know, LifeRay used to have LifeRay Portal, and we moved from LifeRay Portal to LifeRay Digital Experience Platform, or what we call LifeRay DXP. So I'm going, I'm going to take you through two slides to introduce what is LifeRay DXP and after this I'll take you through two more slides to introduce my demo and after that we'll jump to the demo. So LifeRay Digital Experience Platform was built so that our client will be able to reach their clients in a much better way across all the channels and the channels can be web browser, desktop, uh, sorry, web browser, mobile phones, tablets, uh, in-person meeting, iWatches, and also after they will be able to reach their clients through the channels, they will also be able to maintain a good relationship through all the life cycle. So as you can see, Life Report and all the portal platform, they provide that uh, silo factory where you have a backend systems that you integrate them in one platform and then that platform can be presented to different channels whatever it's web browser uh, mobile tablets um, internet and so on there 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 is two main problems in this um, design where those channels are not connected together so a user whenever um, they have one experience with the web browser most of the time they don't have the same experience with mobile phone or other um, uh, or other channels so they end up just sticking with one channel the other thing is those channels used to provide the same content to all the user so we figure out by time that usually every client have their own interest and whatever make one client happy it doesn't uh, doesn't have to make the other clients happy as well so that's why based on those two problems we start building our life rate digital experience platform so as you can see here the backend systems still the same so you still have your backend system that you need to integrate them in one platform was was um, um, uh, single sign on to the end user but what got changed is the presentation layer so with life rate digital experience platform we help our client to build their digital channels whatever it's websites, mobile, um, uh, iWatches, um, even helping helping an in-person meeting so that the end user will have a continuous um, um, experience through, through your channel. So if, for example, he start using your website and to do a certain function and after that he jump to his mobile phone, he will be able to continue his experience through the mobile phone. So they're all connected to provide one experience to the end user. The other thing is um, live free digital experience platform is very dynamic so you can configure your platform to act differently based on the user behavior based on age location uh, interest um, so based on those factor you can make live free change dynamically to make sure it uh, it's gonna pleasant all your clients so here I'm gonna just uh, stop introducing LifeRay DXP. I'm gonna jump to the demo so you can see actually how uh, LifeRay DXP looks like. So in my demo, I have different personas that I'm gonna jump between them. So I have my marketing team. So that team is um, uh, is uh, his role is to build content um, that suit different clients and configure the page. So I have Michelle. She is uh, my market marketing manager, Richard. He is a market associate, so he work under Michelle. And then Bruno. Bruno, he is an IT um, member. He's an administrator, but he work with the marketing team in case they need to have any permission to do certain function that they're not allowed to. And also, I do have um, um, employees. So I have just a simple uh, use case here where I have Josh. He's a manager, and I have Neil. He's an employee work under Josh. And we're gonna jump and log in, log out between different personas, so that you can see how how LifeRay will act differently between different personas. So my demo, it's not just one video; it's a series of videos. So the first video, where what, uh, which what I'm recording here now, is um, an introduction to the demo, which what I did, and also I'm going through um, LifeRay DXP layout and security as an introduction. 
and then the, the next videos I'm gonna go through the content management um, and uh, permissioning also audience targeting staging uh, document management collaboration uh, forms and I'm gonna end my videos with um, a, a use case for an intranet so you're gonna see all the collaboration feature working for a use case as um, an intranet um, one thing I would like to add also here is that um, uh, in the future I'm gonna add more and more uh, videos so make sure to uh, not count on the slides look for the description of this video because I'm anytime I'm gonna add a new video you're gonna find the new video link in the description of this video right so let's jump to the demo now so um, the first thing is I built two sites so in my use case I um, took our company as a use case and I built an internet site and intranet site so what you're guys seeing now in front of you it's actually the internet site and the first two things I would like to um, show it to you I'm um, as an anonymous user I'm gonna go through the site and as you can see here um, we build life ray using something called single page application or SPA and what that mean is we minimize the number of requests between the browser and the server and by doing that we actually enhance the performance um, uh, of, of life rate so as you can see here moving between the pages is very fast and uh, uh, the browser doesn't refresh the other good thing also is that we can maintain the history for the scrolling so let's say I am on the welcome page now and I jump to the home page and here I'm scrolling down and then I'm gonna hit the back button so when I come back to my page I come exactly where I stopped I don't come to the top of the page so if I scroll more down and then hit back button as you can see I came back exactly where I left my page so with the single page application I can enhance the performance have a much better performance also um, um, I can save the history so user between when they move between pages they um, they don't lose context and they can get back to what they were doing using the back button the other thing also life ray is um, um, built uh, using the responsive design so that it can fit desktop uh, uh, browsers and also mobile browsers or tablet browsers so as you can see here if I minimize my browser you can see how life ray will change to make sure to fit inside the browser so as a small browser all the content fit inside even the menus is different so I can the search menus is here I can go to the welcome page and as you can see everything is completely different here right um, the other good thing also not just how it looks but also how the content behaves so for example I have some videos here running so I can come to my web browser and try to run one of these videos so as you can see the videos fit inside my page but if I close that video and actually just minimize my browser and go back again to the same video that was running just go to another one as you can see it fit completely yeah, inside the I'm browser so uh, so so life rate right. is actually meant to um, have the responsive design so that all your content you build automatically will be fit in any browser uh, so as you can see life rate would change the look and feel so make sure it fits on all browsers right so bef before login I just want to go through the pages of my demo so that you you um, you you know what I will go through my demo so I have my welcome page and on the top of the welcome page there is some content and I'll show you in my demo how someone who doesn't know HTML CSS or JavaScript will be able to build a content like this if you are a technical person you know how much code involved in this uh, but I'll show you how a business person can build something like this without writing any line of code also as you can see here I have some videos that I was showing here uh, I'll, I'll go through how you can make something like that um, also I have this graph is connected to a backend system to show um, um, the number of uh, enterprise client uh, users so it's a different system the life rate integrated so just to show you some numbers and the two sides here I have is the last news and as you can see both of them has the same title and the reason for that because they're both of them showing the same content so that's something we call asset publisher and I'm going I'm gonna go through this during my demo so basically asset publisher is a tool where um, admin user can configure to dynamically query the content management system based on certain condition you define and get those 
uh, content based on the condition and show it based on some display settings you uh, you you provide. So here, for example, in my display, in my condition, I said uh, query my content repository. Show me all the content that have um, um, uh, uh, news template and has a tag as news. So if any content has a tag as news, it will be shown in that place. So anytime I need to add a new news, I go to my document repository, create the news and tag it as news and it will be shown here different between both is the presentation so here i present the content as just um, uh, uh, lines uh, sorry as just uh, uh, some text here so anytime i can click on read more and i can go through uh, read more for those news um, the other way i did here is just present it on a map so one of the step when you add a news we'll see, and we'll show this in a demo that you can add a location for where this news is coming from and here i can say I uh, this news is actually coming from here I can click on this news and here is gonna actually show me uh, the actual news here right well we'll, sh we'll show how I can manage this added and I how I can add more news uh, um, uh, in my uh, in my next videos right also I do have the home page that I built and this one also is another asset publisher but in this page I add three asset publisher and the three of them they're actually also query the same content but different presentations so here uh, the content are presented as um, um, boxes so you, anytime you can click on the box and read this content um, here the content are presented are boxes that niche, uh, next to each other and the last one is as carousel so you can go through your content through those carousel and again there this is asset publisher query the content repository given this content based on certain uh, conditions you define and the presentation layer you can change it as you can see here also we're gonna go through uh, some uh, example for integration so in my demo I integrated with um, Amazon search we're gonna see how I did this integration I can do a search and and I can see the search also I did some integration with Salesforce we're gonna go through that during my demo also we're gonna go through some collaboration feature like blogs wiki and also something we call it knowledge page where you can build your knowledge page whatever documentation training and so on we're gonna have a, a, a video for that that's part of my video the other uh, side that i built which is the use case for the uh, intranet so uh, when i log in here to my um, intranet so let me log in so intranet is a private site so it's just for the employees so i cannot access the site unless i'm logged in so what i'm doing now i'm logging as bruno just to be able to access that site so i'm going as bruno now and here as you can see it's uh, my site so it has a lot of features that we also gonna go through it uh, uh, through the next demos homepage news blog trainings we're gonna have a dashboard calendars reports so we're gonna go through all of this uh, details in the last videos I have here all right so the next step I will do now is just to uh, introduce life ray layouts and uh, we'll go from there so what I'm gonna do I'm just gonna close the browser and start from scratch so um, I'm gonna log in here and as you can see this demo is actually running on my local host so Liferay is very very light software everything is integrated everything running on one server so um, you can run it on your desktop and we made Liferay very light because uh, Liferay is meant to, for high transactional websites and a site that have um, high uh, number of concurrent users right so um, when I go here to my uh, local host I'm going to log into my site so this is my internet site and the use case that I built I just built a, um, um, an internet site for life ray as an example so I'm gonna log in here as Bruno and uh, if you remember from my presentation Bruno is my super user so he is an admin user and he has um, controls to change a lot of things so he has all the controls over all the admin feature and I'm logging with Bruno just to go through this uh, admin feature and the layout of Liferay so once I log in when I click on Liferay logo that show me the top bar and here when I open the top bar you're gonna see all um, um, the admin features that we have so there is two things that I would like to talk about the first thing is uh, l uh, the control panel and then the sites so um, as I was mentioning at the beginning I built two sites and those two sites are actually running on the same infrastructure 
and that's what we call multi-tendence so live Ray support multi-tendence you can build as much site as you want on the same infrastructure and every site can have his own user content blogs even his own url so for the end user they can think on those two sites and running on on two different infrastructure we have the control panel and that's the place where you can control everything in LifeRay. So the control panel is the top management level and usually one or two user in the organization will have access to the control panel where every site have has his own admin uh, features. Right. So let's go through some of the features in the control panel. Of course, I cannot go through all of them because of a lot, but I'm just going to highlight the most important ones. So the first one I would like to highlight under the control panel is the user tab. And here where you can make LifeRay connect to your user store, whatever it's an LDAP browser, uh, sorry, or a database, or if you don't have your own um, user store, you can actually use LifeRay as your own user store. So here, uh, those users are actually uh, saved inside LifeRay, but you can connect LifeRay to um, your LDAP if you have an LDAP for your users. Right. The second thing I would like to show is the role tab. So um, as you can see here, um, um, you build roles. So anytime if you want to add a new role, you click on adding a new role and adding the name. And after you're defining your, the roles, the second step is to define the permission that that role can do. So for example, I have a role as an employee. If I went here to define permission, this is show me kind of the same structure as here. So everything, so for example, if I went to pages and site pages, here it shows me all the controls that I grant access to, to anyone has their own employee. So if, for example, um, I want to grant uh, the employee to be able to add a new page, I'm just clicking on this add, add to page, and at that time, the employee will be able to add a page, right? So after I create, um, um, after I create roles and I define permission, the next step is to assign those roles to the users. So if I went back to my uh, user tab here, if I went to um, any user, so I have Neil, he is an, an employee. So if I went to Neil, edit it. And here, as you can see, if I scroll down, there is the role tab and here, Nail has um, a role as an employee, so any permission I assign it for the employee, uh, Nail will have it, right? The other cool feature that we do have with LifeRay is something we call impersonate. And what that means is, um, let's say, for example, Nail is an employee, he has a problem for accessing certain content or viewing certain news or whatever and he contents the administrator or open a ticket. So the administrator doesn't really need to do a screen sharing to see what's happening. They can impersonate themselves as they are nail and they can see what's the problem. So Bruno as an administrator, he can come as nail and he can say, I will impersonate myself as if I am nail. And here I can view my pages and my my uh, ax, my my admin feature as if I am nail here. So as you can see, nail doesn't have too much um, uh, control. He can actually just uh, see the site. He can view the content. He cannot change anything. So as you can see here, uh, nail uh, the Bruno has all of this control, but nail doesn't really have any control. So let me just show you how I'm gonna. I can change control and immediately how I can see this reflected at runtime. So what I'm going to do here, I'm going to back to my role tab and I'm going to go to the uh, employee role and I'm going to define permissions. And here what I'm going to do, I'm going to allow uh, Neil to be able to add content and new pages to his environment. Um, just for demo purpose, I'm going to remove this uh, permission from him after I, I demonstrate this. So what I'm going to do here, I'm going to the site administrator navigation and then site pages, and I'm going to grant him all the permission on pages. So he can add pages, configure application, do everything. Okay, so I'm granting all the permissions here. And then I'm going to hit save. And just by doing this, going back to this page, just refresh. So now if I just... 
maximize this so now you can see that Neil can add new content to his pages we're gonna go we're gonna talk more about this tab later but I want to show you that he can add content also he has access to the navigation menu he can add pages change pages um, uh, and so on so by doing this I can change permission and I can view immediately how this permission uh, reflect to different users so um, as I said, this is just for demo purpose, but I don't want my employee to be able to change pages. So I'm going to remove again this permissions. And here, click save again. And now if I went back to my user that I impersonate him, now as you can see, he's, he doesn't have that controls anymore, right? So that's the first step. Here you can connect your LDAP add your user, define your permission, define your roles, and then connect your roles to your users. One of the questions that I get a lot about this part is that I don't want to assign permission to every single user I have since I have thousands of users. In LifeFree, we solve this problem. So in your LDAP, usually you have groups. So you have group of employees, group of uh, marketing people, engineers, developers, and so on, managers. So um, what you can do in LifeRay, you can configure LifeRay to map every role to a certain group. So let's say uh, you hired a new manager. Once you add that manager inside the group of managers, LifeRay will detect that user, will assign permission of manager for that specific user. So you really don't need to do anything in LifeRay. Just add your user in the group of manager and LifeRay will take care of assigning the, man the manager roles to that user. Right? The second tab we have here is the site tab and that's the tab where you can create multiple sites at runtime. So here as you can see I have three sites, actually four sites. So I have the global site, Life for DXP, the intranet site and another site called test site and that's the site that I'm going to use to demonstrate uh, staging later in this demo. So anytime you want to add a new site you just click the add button click the add site, either um, a blank site or a site based on a template. So uh, let me give you an example here. If you guys have um, an intranet site uh, that you want to build different groups for different type of people to collaborate together. So anytime you get a request for a new group, you can the administrator can come here, click add new site, assign a URL, assign content, and then after this, uh, we'll be ready for the end user. No need for extra infrastructure, no need for um, I, uh, development time. It just in two minutes, you can have a new site. If that site need to have like five, six pages that all pop, uh, all of them will be the same in any collaboration site, you can build a template. And anytime you build a new site, you can build that new site based on this template. Right? Um, so that's the place where you can build uh, sites. Uh, the other tab that I would like to show here is the, our marketplace. So in LifeRay, we do have the same concept um, as um, as um, in the Apple and Android devices, where you can have um, an app store with apps where you can uh, add these apps to your environment. So we have the same concept here. So LifeRay has something called Marketplace. Any new feature LifeRay introduced, we add it to our marketplace. So you can go ahead and view the new option, click install, you're going to have it in your environment. And by doing this, we minimize the number of upgrades. So we don't have any more Thompson called minor upgrades. Since any new feature we have, we just introduce it here. Or what you need to do is just click install, no need to restart the server. Uh, just once you have it in your environment, you can start using it. That marketplace is not just for uh, LifeRay. So we have partners that they develop their applications. Some of them are free. Some of them you have to pay money for. So um, you can always add application developed by our partners and our community and add it to your environment. Uh, that marketplace you can access it from here or you can actually go to www.liferay.com slash marketplace. And by going, my going there, I'm sorry. I'm sorry here. Anyway, uh, I guess I forgot the URL. But anyway, so if you went to lifefreecom slash the marketplace, that's the place where you can access uh, your applications. All right. Uh, 
the other thing also I would like to uh, talk about is the configuration tab um, that tab has a lot of applications so I'm not gonna have time to go through all of them but I'm gonna highlight a uh, couple of um, a couple of applications that they're really important uh, the first one is the workflow so um, as you can uh, as you know in LifeRay everything can go through a workflow for approval and also integration with external platform so let's say uh, you want anyone any marketing associate whenever they design a new content this content need to be approved for by um, the marketing manager or for example any employee upload a new um, 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 uh, documents to their document repository it need to be approved first of someone do a comment over a blog it needs to be approved so you can design this workflow and you design it one time and then you can use it with anything in LifeRay so as you can see here, um, there is uh, uh, the um, workflow configuration, I'm sorry, the Kaleo designer. And inside the Kaleo designer, that's where you design the workflows. And the thing that I would like to show here is how easy you can design a workflow. So you don't really need to know any coding, um, have any coding experience to design a workflow. It's, it's a, just a drag and drop components. And then you can link between those components using uh, the, the visual editor. So for example, in this workflow, it's a very simple use case where someone create an asset. Um, the asset can be a document, uh, content, blogs, wiki, knowledge base, adding a comment, can be anything. And then uh, it needs to be a review. And here I define the reviewer to be anyone that has a role as manager. So anyone has a role as manager will be able to review this um, uh, content and then manager can approve it so it goes to the approved status or it can reject it it go to the reject status so it's very easy you can design workflow drag and drop components and design your workflow and that workflow can be as a simple case as I show it here or something complex like this one so um, this is a more complex case case um, that we actually build it for one of our banks um, so here as you can see uh, they actually had uh, document repository and anyone upload a new document they need this document to uh, based on a tag of the document it needs different teams to approve it so if I upload a document and add a tag as legal documents it goes to a legal person to approve it if it didn't has any tag it goes to a content reviewer and if any of those team members approve it it goes to a final approval which is the site administrator and once the site administrator approve it, it goes to the final approval. So as you can see here, you can have as simple as you want or as complex you, as you want, even just parallel approval, integrating with external system for approval. So you can create any complex case you want just by drag and drop, right? The other thing also I would like to highlight here in my control panel is the um, settings. So in my settings here, I would like to show more about our security. Um, so I'm just waiting the configuration to load. Right, so once I have my configuration loaded here, as you can see, there is the authentication tab. And here, as you can see, live fray out of the box can integrate with any single sign-on solution you have whatever open SSO CAS NTLM LDAP open ID even if you're using Facebook and Google as authentication also we do have something called SAML plugin and with using the SAML plugin you can actually configure Rifray to be as an service provider or identity provider like an SP or an IDP so if you have your own single sign-on solution you can integrate this with Liferay if you don't have one you can actually use Liferay as a single sign-on so you don't need to buy an extra uh, so software you can use Liferay as a, as a single sign-on software you, uh, uh, solution using the SAML plugin right so I just highlighted the most important feature here uh, that I have in my pages. Um, just before uh, closing this um, uh, uh, um, demo video, uh, I would like to show one other feature for the security. So um, I show it to you here how I can control each role permission for the administration feature. The other thing I would like to show that this administration feature, it can actually go up to every page or even the content every page so let me give you an example for this so if I took the URL and open it in another browser so I'm gonna open this URL in this browser 
and here I am an anonymous user. So in uh, in my use case, I don't want to show uh, Salesforce integration to anonymous user. To change this and thus to change this in live phrase is very easy. So as an admin user has has permissions, I can go to the Salesforce, go to the permission tab, and here I can remove the view permission from guest user, and just by clicking save. Now if I went to this browser and just refresh my page, guest user cannot see anymore the sales uh, the Salesforce integration. Let's say I just want to hide the whole page. I don't want the user to see the whole page. I don't. I want it to be disappeared from the menu. That's also easy. So what I can do, I can actually come to my um, navigation here, and I can actually go to uh, the uh, the app page and configure this page. And here I can go to the permission and then remove the view permission from the guest user. So the guest user had the view permission. I can remove this one. And once I click save now, if I went back here, just refresh my browser. As you can see, it's, it actually take me to the login page because this is a private page now. So if I went back to my, my uh, welcome page, I don't see anymore that app page because it's, it needs, you need to be logged to view this page. So to change security, it's very, very easy. You, you can first define your roles, define their admin feature of those roles, and then on every asset or every page, you can actually define customized permission for that one. So either from the admin console, you can define permission for everything, or you can go to every asset or every page in LifeRay and define different permissions. All right. The last thing also I would like to show here is the admin console of every site. So as I was mentioning here, um, and you have the control panel where you can access all the sites and also you have every site. So anytime every user has an access to a specific site, when they click on this one, they're going to see that site here. So since I'm Bruno, an admin user, I can view all the sites. So I can jump between sites here. So if I went to intranet, now I can see the intranet sites. And here are all the admin feature of the intranet sites. So moving between sites, going back to DXP, here under this tab is the admin feature for this site. So every site has their own navigation, content, members, roles, permissions, uh, and even URL, so it's completely different setup on the same infrastructure. All right? Thank you for um, being with me till the end of this demo. Please um, um, see the next video where I'm gonna talk about content management. Thank you.